Erev Tov Kharim. I'm Stephen ben and you're watching Israeli News Live. Once again, the Pope has made another astonishing statement that is picked up on uh, the news broadcast, NTEB News Desk, on May 16, 2014. It's an online news publication where the, the article reads, Pope Francis says Christians do not exist outside the Roman Catholic Church. The Pope was stated under Vatican City, Rome, Pope Francis said that people cannot be Christians without the church, explaining that Christians' identity is rooted in it and that believers cannot stand alone. Well, as I mentioned to you the other day after visiting the Temple Institute, that the Pope, when he was elected as the new pontiff of the Roman Catholic Church, broke tradition coming out in only white, not wearing the traditional red cape over his shoulders, as you see in the image behind me, he, choosing to wear a white cape instead, and not a gold cross, but a silver cross. Just like it was during the time when the high priest of Israel would go into the Holy of Holies, he would be dressed in white only as he presented himself before the Lord, showing that the Pope of Rome is elevating himself to the status to be the high priest of Israel. No doubt trying to make himself a Mashiach, the modern day Messiah. His trip that is coming up is said to be under extremely tight security. Before coming to Israel, he'll be visiting the King of Jordan, which is kind of ironic because the King of Jordan actually has control of the old city of Israel. So it's no, no wonder why Pope Francis will be visiting him first before coming on to meet with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. And then under extreme security, the Pope Francis is, is requested that there be no Jewish people near the Kotel when he visits the Wailing Wall other than those that have been selected and chosen to meet with the Pontiff. And he also is coming to take possession of Mount Zion. Some people are already reporting that that negotiation has already been dealt with, although it's been some controversy over it. And of course, about a year ago, the Israeli government said that they would give a pope a seat at King David's tomb, or the place of the Last Supper. Basically, the places are stacked one upon another. It's only interesting the things that will be shaping up here in the coming days. And we ask that you be praying for us because we know we're stepping on nerves at this point. Baruch Hashem, God bless you. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun, you're watching Israeli News Live.